Hello guys, so welcome back to a new Black Desert mobile guide video. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you the best ways to farm lots of silver, especially as a free to play player guys. As you can see, me, I still have 3.4 trillion, which is 3406 billion, and I'm gonna get more, and you're gonna see which, in my opinion, are the best ways, especially if you're a free to play. So let's get started guys. One and maybe the best way one of the best ways guys is farming guys you want to farm and try to farm afk as much as possible so you save locations and you go and farm why i'm gonna show you in a bit so you just go and farm uh, me i farm uh, on my computer also so i can farm 24 7 almost so afk farming that means you just leave your character there and start farming in your saved location and you'll gain guys what why it's important and just depending on your cp you can get better and better higher quality uh, rewards for example in dragon which uh, in this area 43000 plus cp you get uh, this uh, statues let's call it statue serekan altar flag 315,000 silver each. I'm gonna show you how many I got and how much silver I make. You can get Chaos Jewels, guys. And uh, with these ones, you're gonna see what you can do. Definitely, you need them. You will need them. Uh, you can get uh, Akrads. And very important, guys, you can get the Dragon Loot Chest. Sherikan Legacy, also, they are very good. And depending on your CP, like I said, you can farm in lower maps, for example, you start, you should be able, at least in the chaos maps, you'll get different rewards, definitely. You still get, uh, like, different types of statues, sculptures, like this one, 200,000 each. And you still get a uh, loot chest. For this one, I think it's, oh, let me see. Hmm, I don't see it on this one. Also, you can get the glyphs. Let me check maybe on the, the other higher maps. Starting, let's see, it's Valencia, because I forgot which one from where you start getting uh, the loot chest. In here you get, ah, here, Chaos loot chest, I didn't see them. So you get the Chaos loot chest, which also have very important rewards. You can still get Chaos gear. So, guys farm as much as possible afk farming if not go black spirit mode so from here so do half and half like when you're at work or you you put on your phone on charge go auto uh, go black spirit mode okay and also use hot times when it's hot times several hot times you t use uh, different uh, combat buffs okay so to increase your rewards let's see what i'll gain what you can gain because i have like the different types of chest and you're gonna see all the statues how much silver i'll gain the, this time these are called flags okay let me see where are the loot chest loot chest okay so i have six found this i found in the last two weeks or so i think six thousand two hundred let's see as you can see you get adventure tokens 22,000 uh, uh, ancient tablets, 22,000 bow stamps, 12,000, and I got Aeli, condensed dark energy, and many other rewards, which is really nice. Well, the adventure tokens, the ancient tablets, and the bow stamps are very, very good. As you know, you get knowledge from them, and um, you also, guys, because another way to f to get lots of and also uh, from farming, let's let's finish with this. From farming, you get the statues, different types of statues, starting from the these ones I think, dark sculptures, two hundred thousand each. I have sixty eight thousand right there, up to the highest that uh, you get paid for three hundred fifteen thousand Sherekan altar uh, flag from Dragon maps, four hundred thirty six thousand. You can see how much uh, how much uh, silver I gain. But uh, I want you also another very good way to farm, guys, to farm silver. It's farming the bow stamps, the uh, ancient ruins, and advent, uh, the constellations. So the bow stamps, uh, you go and farm 
the Hadoom bosses and for example a level 99 you get how much 8.3 billion silver ancient gold coins and other rewards okay like glyphs which also you can sell enhancement materials so 8.3 billion for example if I do 1000 runs that will be uh, 8 uh, wait 1000 8 uh, billion 8 billion yeah no sorry 8000 8000 because now it's 8 uh, no this is 8 million sorry my bad <laughs> 8 8 billion so for 1000 I'll get 8 billion usually if you have lots if you farm a lot of both stamps you'll get a few hundreds of billions just from farming plus you have the different uh, rewards from different for different levels uh, like this ones where you get the dark sculptures and other rewards so this ones also you can sell for lots of silver so farming both stands same with the ancient tablet ancient tablets and also with the constellation how you can get more guys more of the both stamps and ancient tablets is farming Edana so you go in the black in the desert sorry and you <coughs> go and farm Edana I have many videos on where which are the best areas for different CP to farm for Edana me I'm farming in here I'm not gonna go right now and guys you get uh, from the, with the Edana you can go to the different uh, shrines okay and use Edana to get lots of both stamps ancient tablets and adventure tokens because adventure tokens also can give you lots of silver so if you farm the constellation yes if you farm the constellation and you get adventure tokens I have half a million right now and the rewards are very good because check this out faded star pieces okay faded star piece 16 million 16 million each and believe me you get a bunch of these ones and other rewards plus silver 10 10 million 10 million for uh, each run so that's oh no for how many no that's for no for one run let's see it's like uh, 6 million no it's okay it's okay this is the highest uh, level sorry my bad 10 million yeah so imagine you can do you can get lots of silver from constellation for sure like a few hundreds of billion from here um okay let's see what other ways then I'm gonna show you how much I'll gain I'll gain from all of this what other ways guys other ways is farming the bosses the every week guys to your bosses to the um, early rift so do all these bosses okay because they can give you all different types of rewards and also some of these rewards can give you uh, silver like this one you can see this can sell for silver um, they are different let's say I think this one also gives some like this one 100.5 million the scales uh, and the these bosses okay all of this I have a bunch of them let's let's open and let's see what we'll gain for let's see this one uh, which one chaos muraka okay let's see nine so as you can see, I'm getting some really cool rewards, chaos cores, which are very good, and also, guys, I'm gaining the tangled time to farm the ancient ruins. Okay, let's see this one, Ahib Griffon. Okay, so this one also gives like dark coins, um, Akrads relics and these feathers gonna see how many I have and how much silver these ones are very good each gives you 500k silver and you get a lot of them gonna see how many how about this one okay this one gives me dark coins across and this material this scale which sells for 100 million <laughs> that's pretty nice that is pretty nice guys okay let's see let's see how much silver we could possibly get from no 
I'm gonna do that to the end. Yeah, you're gonna see for from each of those. Um, another very a new way, guys, to get a uh, lots of silver. Can you guess which one is? Can you guess, guys? Is wait cooking, cooking, guys. Okay, so learn different recipes. Start developing, level up your cooking. Okay. I didn't do that but maybe I should start doing that because you can craft these recipes and as you can see they sell for quite a lot of silver and especially these higher uh, tier ones let me see which ones these are like special Valencia Valencia meal you see the ingredients that you need daily you can craft 10 of this guys how much you can sell this at the market 725 million guys but let's say you Till you reach there you can grab these ones and these ones sell for 80 million each and you can craft and there is no limit for this one to craft so people are selling this uh, are developing their cooking and they are selling those foods in the market for example i'm gonna check let's see consumables i think in here no no uh meals sorry here okay so so Check this out, they already traded 1200 of this special Valencian meal. So if you craft guys at least one per day, that's almost 1 trillion a day. That's, a, that's insane, that's a lot of silver. Or you can grab these ones, you can grab lots of them. 134, ah sorry not, not a billion, so it's 700, um, 700 million. So 1 billion almost. So, or these ones, my bad, <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, so that, yeah, this is not uh, 700 million and 134 million, my bad. So you can make from this one quite a lot of silver. Okay, let's see what other things, guys. Definitely, definitely, guys, another very good way is selling stuff at the market. What you could sell I'm gonna show you in a bit which are the best things to sell right now. Well, definitely memory inscribed glyph uh, glyphs, memory imprints. Sorry, As you can see they sell for billion. Like this one, 100. This for the sub weapon. This is for the main weapon. This is for the headpiece. These are the primal ones. Or for the gloves, 169 billion. Uh, I think I have a few for sale in here. Let me see. Even the the abyssal ones. So if I was to sell this one, I'll get 91 billion. For this one, these two, I get 84 billion. And guys, chaos jewels. Right now the prices went higher. So you can register the chaos jewels, and I have a lot of them. I have like close to 100. Uh, I could register for around 50 billion. So I'll get, or maybe 59, I can go for the highest. It seems it uh, reduced right now, I cannot. Oh, anyways, um, that will be 35, 35 billion for each. If I sell 10, that's um, 350 billion. If I sell 100, that's 3.5 trillion, 3,500 trillion. So I'll gain, I'll get to uh, how much? 7 trillion or 7,000 billion just from selling the KO jewels. And how you can get the KO jewels? Well, you get lots of from farming for sure. Uh, you can also speculate the market, uh, like buy when the price is low and then sell high. There are so many options. What else? You can sell like uh, glyphs. The primal ones they sell for a lot, 422 billion. <laughs> If I was to sell this one, well, I have to calculate the fee also. That's close to 300 billion. So if you farm glyphs, that's another way. And you can get from farming. You can get from doing boss rushes. You can get from your fairy. Like uh, the fa I'm going to show you the fairy how you can get glyphs. Uh, you have the activities. And uh, uh, wait one second. I have to finish there. Wait, I have to do this complete. Yeah, boom. And now, 
I can go in adventure and you go for this one and this one can give you let's go can give you guys this one if you do can give you the um, this cliffs let me show you in a bit because I have them in here the ancient I think which ones the ancient ones mm -hmm -hmm. this ones dark inscribe this sorry and from epic to primal which is good okay um, and guys one of the best way to farm let's, let's finish this to farm the um, silver is another very good way maybe the best can you guess guys if you go to expedition you'll find pirate island the pirate island and check this out uh, 135 tickets I have and I can do 10 at once that's the max reward yeah 10 and what you can get from here pirate golden telescope 25 million each sells for 25 million guys okay so let's see I'm gonna go and farm how you can get this ones pretty easy guys every week you can get five uh, you get five from uh, sorry ten five you can get from uh, defeating five fifty thousand enemies which is pretty easy Boom, there you go and another five you can gain which I already uh, no I didn't consuming one sixty minutes or one hour in the uh, great desert I should do that okay so let's see how much I'll gain from doing I'm gonna farm and then I'm gonna show you all the silver that I gain so let's go and start farming this one so 100 how many 140 tickets 135 something like that and then guys I'm gonna come back and sell everything to see how much silver I'll gain okay guys let's see I did all the runs so let's see what I got from that and I'm gonna start selling so you can see no more runs left let's go really fast and sell everything see how much silver I'll gain here we go you go something or nothing it should be fast so now is the moment of truth guys here we go okay let's start with something that's not that expensive hmm okay let's start from with these statues 28 billion 28.5 almost okay this ones can get from desert okay okay the feathers Remember the Griffon feather from the boss, 2.8. You know, it's not a lot, but now we're gonna go into the more uh, worthwhile stuff like dark sculptures. 13.7 million. I don't have faded because I didn't farm the adventure, but uh, I could get a lot from that also. Let's see from this 3.2 billion. Actually, I'm not gonna sell them. Uh, okay let's see this guys crimson crowns 59 billion guys I'm gonna show you in a bit from where you can get those it's from um, from your guild actually get this one okay you know what let's see let's see the this this from farming I'm gonna say save some of them. So I'm gonna sell 43,000 like this, and the rest I'm gonna 135. Not bad. 135 billion guys. Wait, what? What just happened? Uh, three point. Okay. 3.6 billion okay let's see uh, okay this this one let's see if I have anything else okay these are from the pirate guys the pirate boss okay 700 billion boom it's 
so 4.3 trillion guys so again again close to 1000 billion close not there but close to and guess what if i was to sell if i was to sell the cow jewel and all the stuff i can reach 8 8 trillion or 8000 plus trillion plus if i start farming the bow stamps the adventure uh, adventure tokens and other stuff i'll get more so yeah as you can see silver is not a problem guys just farm do the important stuff do the the farm medana coins also do the bosses trade he's trading okay 